welcome back to my channel. It's Ariana. Um, if you guys are my channel, um, I'm Ariana. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you guys don't know who I am, I'm Ariana, obviously. Today I'm going to be doing another video out of my hashtag YouTuber101 series. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a YouTube channel. So I'm not a pro or anything on YouTube, but I'm going to be showing you guys what I've learned. And yeah, so before we get into this video, make sure you guys subscribe. And today's notification shout out slash Instagram shout out goes to Brianna Davis. Thanks for having my or following me on Instagram. My social medias will be on the screen right now or in the description if you're too lazy to look at it. So without further ado, make sure you guys follow me and subscribe to me. So what you're gonna want to do is you want to go to Gmail and you want to go ahead and create an account. tell you your new um, email address is da, da 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 whatever you choose and then yeah so now you have your account right here so now I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about creating a good username so in order to create your username you would go into YouTube or create an account you would go onto youtube.com we're gonna edit Mackenzie's channel for her and we're gonna go to my channel it's gonna say you don't have a channel so you're gonna create a channel and I'm gonna just choose Mackenzie Smelly as her username. You guys wanna make sure you guys choose an appropriate username because this is gonna stick with you for the rest of your YouTube career because when you get your YouTube plaque or anything, that's you you're not you're not gonna be able to change your username. Okay? So make sure it's one that you wanna stick with. So I have it right here, and I'm pretty sure that's what I want it to be. So now it just shows the basic purple figure thing. And you're gonna choose customize channel. And you're gonna click add channel art. And then it's gonna ask you to sign it. So you guys wanna make sure you guys have good channel art. I'm gonna show you guys mine right now. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, or if you guys are, you'll see that my channel art looks the way it does. So we're going to go to banner. It's colorful. It tells you guys what days I upload. And it just tells you my channel name. It's clear and simple. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is your making good videos with a purpose. So you guys don't want to just upload videos that don't make sense. You want to make upload, like, for example, you want to go with your most popular video. So if you've uploaded a video already, you want to choose a video that gets more views or that is more popular with your channel so for example I would stick to more pranks because my prank videos get more views than my regular videos so the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is uploading frequently so I upload twice a week and you want to stick to at least once a week you don't want to upload once every month because then people are not going to want to come and watch because they get a video once every month so you want to make sure you guys upload on a time schedule so what I do is with my phone, I go on my calendar and I have a, I track it and in my calendar, it tells me what days to upload. So that's a good way to do it. Or you can just write it down and yeah. The next thing you guys want to do is a call to action slash catchphrase. So obviously in the front, the beginning of my videos, I say, um, how are you guys doing today? And yeah. So what you want to do is you want to stick to that. You don't want to change it up every video because just in case you wanted to do something with that, like create different things. Um, so, yeah. So now we're going to go on to the last thing for this. The last thing that you want to do is create a good description and a good channel layout. You don't want to have all your videos because on some channels, um, I'm just going to do a random channel right now. Like on this channel, they don't upload enough videos, so it just shows you these boring videos. You can't see what their channel is about or anything. It just shows you that. So, yeah. 
we're gonna go back to Kenzie's channel and you want to add channel art and now in order to add uh, sections it tells you you want to choose your popular uploads that's a good one to add um, you want to choose one that says recently uploaded so your fans know what you've just uploaded so it's easier to find the videos instead of going to videos you've already watched and those are the two that I have on my channel. I also have, I don't put my liked videos because I don't want people like going back and watching those. Um, but what you want to do is also the about page. The about page is right here. And you're going to click channel description. So in the channel description, you describe you or say different things about you. So I'm going to say, hi, I'm Mackenzie. I'm very talented and extremely smart I'm good at everything and that's that I'm gonna also add different things like um, my social medias and everything else so you can do that if you wanted to and then all you do is click done and then it shows you right there and also when people hover over your name it um, will show you what your channel is about and that's the first thing that they're going to see besides your profile picture. So now we're going to go on to like the fun part of the video. Which so now we're going to go on to like the fun part of the video which is the tips. The tips is what helps you. So I have 11, no I have 12 tips prepared for you guys and the first one is don't be scared, just do it. You don't want to be scared to make a video, just do it. Like if you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to film next week, I'm going to be ready. Do it. Don't be like, I'm going to film next week. Two days later, which is next week. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. Seven days later, oh, I'll just upload next week. Seven days later, I'm gonna. you're not going to do it. Stop procrastinating. Get off your lazy butts and just do it. The second thing I want to talk to you guys about is good lighting slash quality. So right now I'm using a video camera. And you guys have good quality cameras. Also, if you have a viewfinder, which is what I have, don't stare exactly at it. Stare at the lens. So you guys, just make sure you guys have good quality cameras. And I'm not saying you need equipment, good equipment. I'm not saying go out and buy the best ring lights or box lights. You can use the ceiling lights. You can use natural lighting. You can use ring lights. You can use box lights. But whatever makes you comfortable, use that. Don't use, if it's nighttime, you don't have any lights, don't film because it's gonna look like this right here. So just don't do that. Okay, the second tip that I have for you, or the third tip I have for you is thumbnails. Would you rather click on a video that looks like this or that looks like this? I'm pretty sure I'd rather click on the one that looks like this because it's more appealing instead of that. Like, I'd rather click on something that looks like this. The fifth thing I want to talk to you guys about is responding to your fans slash interacting with them. Um, when As a small YouTuber, um, I have 75 subscribers. I respond to almost every one of my comments. If you don't respond to your comments, your fans are going to think you don't care about me. You're not going to want to talk to me. You want to interact with them. Um, reply to as many comments as you can. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about, which is my actually my favorite thing, give them a reason to subscribe. Don't say, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel down below. Tell them why. Like I say, subscribe to my channel to get notified or to get videos um, from me and funny videos because um, I think I'm funny. Probably not. Um, but you don't want to just tell them subscribe because if you just keep saying subscribe, 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 they're not going to want to do it. So give them a good reason to subscribe. Okay. The sixth thing I want to talk to you guys about is your intro. I recommend you do an intro video. I haven't done one of those yet. Telling people about your channel. So that way that's the, that should be like the first thing on your channel. So that way they know much more about your channel and they have a feeling of what they're going to subscribe to your channel about. So that goes along with the give them a reason to subscribe. The seventh thing I want to talk to you guys about is planning. I have a notebook right here as you guys obviously saw. It's just a plain old notebook. And all I do is I just plan my videos out in my notebook. I also use my note section. I also use the note section on my phone. 
you can use whatever you feel comfortable with. Just make sure you plan out your videos because you don't want your videos looking all crappy and stuff. So, yeah. The next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is your background. As you guys can see, my background is not all messy with clothes in there and a drawer right there and then like stuff hanging down from the ceiling. You want to make your background look clean. Like I'm filming on a white wall, computer, notebook. It's clean. It's not this dirty, 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 dirty. So the ninth, the ninth thing I want to talk to you guys about is tags. So I use tags in my videos, which helps people find my videos. So if you just type in oily floor prank, your video might not come up. You gotta use tags. So when you're uploading your video, if you're using your computer, um, you wanna upload your videos, it'll give you a section where you can put tags. You wanna put as many tags that relate to your video as possible. Do not use clickbait, because then no one's gonna wanna watch your video. That leads into the 10th one. Do not use clickbait, never, ever, ever use clickbait, because then they're gonna get 15 seconds in the video. Oh, she said this is what's gonna happen, and then it never happened. They're gonna click right off the video, you're gonna get zero watch time, you're gonna get a bunch of comments in the section being like, oh, why did you use clickbait? And you're probably gonna get a bunch of... So never use clickbait, that's why I don't use clickbait. I don't think I have. <laughs> um, the 11th thing I wanna talk to you guys about is no spam, no sub for sub. What I mean by this is, when people are going on other videos saying, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll subscribe back to yours. No. That means they're not going to watch your videos. They're just going to subscribe to get another subscriber. They're not genuine subscribers. Also, no spam. No one likes spammers. I don't want to call anybody out, but there's a bunch of people that spam my comment section. And when I say spam my comment section down below, I don't mean go follow my channel and da 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 da. So, do not use spam. And the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is being appropriate on your channel. You do not want to be using curse words or being having inappropriate things on your channel because then people are not going to want to watch your videos make it you don't have to make it kid 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 friendly like shiny squeaky clean just don't make it too dirty so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more videos in my hashtag youtuber 101 series let me know down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel to become a member of the A-Squad, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.